So I went, <clears throat> excuse me, so I went a couple days ago and got a COVID test. I got the uh, regular test, in which they said it takes about five days to get the results back. And quite frankly, I don't really feel like waiting five days. I'm curious to figure out what's going on in Oakland. It's just allergies. So I'm headed to Grand Avenue Parkway Pharmacy to get a rapid results test now so I can fill you guys in. Oh, it kind of tickles. Bro, you're negative, brother. I'm negative? You're negative. Sweet. Negative. It feels so good. If I can get back to life, <clears throat> knowing that everything is normal. Minus a little uh, congestion and sore throat. In ragweed season. So even though I got my COVID test back negative, um, I've still been having this congestion quite a bit. So I actually came up here to Elevated IV. I'm getting a Myers cocktail, with some glutathione, some B complex, B vitamins to knock out this, uh, these allergies and help build some immunity. Okay, so I just got back from getting my IV drip. I already feel a lot better as far as my energy is concerned. However, still have this hoarse voice from the ragweed. So I'm about to get this workout on. We're gonna be doing some chest and biceps with some assault bike and some, everybody's favorite, some ball slams. I'm with Bridget here and my boy Brian, which uh, he just went upstairs. Check out this workout. You're gonna be doing 12 reps of everything. Three sets, 12. We do uh, an exercise, a chest exercise, a bicep exercise. Then we do 40 second sprint on the assault bike and then 10 uh, ball slams. Check this out. Big time. Keto uh, was absolutely not having, or not willing to play fetch today. Sometimes he just gets in his little, uh, his little mood, I guess, if you will, where he feels like he's just not ready to play fetch. All right, buddy? He's in the back. Anyway, what I was going to talk to you guys about is you are where your head is at. So, so a lot of times people end up living in the past or, or maybe they, they're constantly talking about their past or constantly reliving a situation that happened to them when they're younger, having like this victim, victim mentality. You know, and what's so bad about that is it keeps you in that past and it keeps you from growing and living the future that you deserve. Any kind of dreams that you may have, any type of imagination that you may have of, of being somebody or doing something is completely eliminated whenever you live in the past or be stuck in a moment or allow something that maybe made you have a bad day, carry that into the next day, right? And it could actually end up ruining your whole week. So the number one tip for you is to stay in the present. Stay in the present and don't get caught up with everything that has happened to you. Let those be things that are not setbacks, they're more setups. And there's some things that happened for you rather than something that happened to you. Look at these as experiences and ways to get better and evolve as a person. The second tip that I have for you today, uh, and my marketing director is actually doing this um, exercise with me as well in our own business, but you can also do this for your life, is creating a vision board. So when you create a vision board, it kind of, it takes you out of being stuck in the past and it puts you in a place where you're able to imagine or vision or visualize what it is that you actually want to achieve. So if you want to achieve something much greater than what you have, if you want to, you know, you want a certain house, you want a certain car, or you want, you want a, uh, you want to feel a certain way, whatever it is, you find pictures 
or something that would help you get into that state of mind. Now, say if uh, I was talking to a client of mine the other day, actually in my phone, I have an iPhone and I have a, a folder in the photos that is called motivation. Now these are a bunch of pictures that are in that folder of me maybe when I was at my leanest or maybe somebody else that was really lean, a picture of a car or a truck or some land or whatever it is that I actually would like to have. I actually snapshot and screenshot a, a picture of those and I save it in that folder. So anytime I'm getting down or feel like that I may be losing motivation, I go to my motivation folder in my phone and you know, I look through those pictures and you know, it kind of creates some fire in your step, if you will, and gets you going. That's my second tip of the day. Now, let's wash this truck and make this thing look nice and shiny. I tell you, this thing is a beast, but it looks so much better when it's clean. Woo! I'll tell you what, that's a workout. It's a big truck. And actually, I feel like I've missed a few places. That's all right. I, I, it's amazing that whenever you clean your car, how much better you feel like it drives. When a clean car, when a car is clean, it just feels like it drives a lot better. I guess that brings up my third point. My third point is, it's your perception. So your perception is your reality. So if you think things are bad around you, or if you think your car is, some, well, I guess if your car is dirty, it is dirty, but, but it's really all your perception. It's really what you think of the situation. So, you know, with COVID right now and all the crazy things that are happening, you know, you could look at life as everything's, everything's fucked up, right? But everything isn't. Actually, I think what COVID has done is COVID in this situation has drawn people, it's drawn people closer and it's created people definitely to be more aware. So um, as far as people's perception I think things are the same as they were before, only people's perception are they're choosing to believe that it's getting better, which makes the situation better. Because I mean, I don't really know that any of the information you believe or you watch on the news you can believe. I don't know if the numbers are higher or lower or, or what. All I know is that life is good because that's the way I see it. And it's just that. I mean, you choose to make life what you make of it. And whatever you think of life, that's what you're going to get back. Speaking of which, talking about giving, I'm going to go help my mother real quick load some gutters for her house um, because she is looking at putting some new gutters in. All right, guys, so I made another rookie move. I actually, um, my camera ran out of batteries, so I missed the uh, me loading the gutters. But to be very honest with you, loading gutters is not that interesting anyway, so you didn't miss too much. But anyway, with that, guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I want to tell you, if you have not subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button. I drop a video every Monday at 9 a.m., giving you content all around body first in the core four elements, spirit, mindset, nutrition, exercise. Be sure to leave a comment also and see you guys in the next video.